Yo, so bitch, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman says, women out here are living amazing lives, degrees, satisfied, traveling, are happy. While men are miserable, bitter, and complaining. But hey, wait, they're not bitter, miserable. They're the happy ones. And you are miserable. And I'm probably in that category too, because they mentioned podcast bros. I'm sure they would call me one. Don't waste any time. Let's get it. Something that we're not talking enough about is something that I see on this app, which is these beautiful women that have amazing jobs, mm. amazing lives. They are happy with themselves and they just seem to not be able to find a partner that they can connect with. And it's something that I've that I think has been a long time coming mm. and we probably need to address it very soon. This epidemic, in my opinion, of men who feel disgruntled for the wrong reasons. Huh. You're disgruntled for the wrong reasons. Let's hear what else she has to say. Um, when I first encountered incel culture, oh. when I was in college, I had a lot of compassion for these men. I thought to myself, you know, some... Did you give him some cheeks? And you didn't really care. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding, guys. Back, back into the... <laughs> back into... I had a lot of compassion for these men. You know, I did the other guys. Those guys over there. Let's keep listening. Girl, some girl must have brick, broken their poor hearts. And because society doesn't allow space for men to be able to vent their emotions, this might just be a way for them to do so. And at first, it was a good forum for that. You know, you were okay. seeing, you know, men kind of create these mentor mentor -y relationships. But right. as we've seen with these podcast bros, it's just gone off the deep end. And this rhetoric that they have that, you know, women are only capable of loving the 10% of men and the rest of them get, you know, left behind. And my initial perception of compassion for them has really changed over the years. And especially today, hmm. when I saw a video of this girl breaking down, you know, this, mis this misunderstanding that we have about these incels being sort of poor guys that are, have their hearts broken. Huh. Because I, she accurately explains that they're not mad that women are not choosing them. They're mad that women have choice in general. They're mad oh. that no longer are we in the days where we can just force a woman to just be with any guy. And all they had to worry about is like provide and not be anything else, not be emotionally present, not be a good father, not be a good husband. Oh. But now they need to step to the plate. And rather than working on that, and to be fair, I guess, they Let's don't have fair. great role models. But rather than working on that and focusing on that, they're like, oh, these girls just suck. So we have a chick here who's talking about incel culture. Incel culture has become a blanket statement joke. Women use for men who, because I don't even think they, they know what it means, but for men who have problems with today's dating market. If you have issues when it comes to what you expect from a woman, and what's crazy is she's talking about they're not getting picked. No, 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 no. They're not choosing you. How are you so successful and so happy? And we're gonna we're gonna get back on that. We're gonna get back on that happiness of modern women. How are you so happy, so successful, but you can't find a man? That's the issue. There's no man out here that's worthy enough. And you 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 you're picking when you're the wife. I thought he got on the knee. And if you are turning down men left and right who you think are not worthy enough for you, chances are your standards are definitely unrealistic in a lot of these cases. Guys, I got to address this idea that modern women today are just so happy and so successful. It's a lie. It's a lie when you do the research. It's a lie when you step outside and look. Have you seen these women, bro? Look around. The misery in their face. And I'm not taking joy in this. This is the result of feminism. Women were lied to, told, hey, if you have success and all these things, you're not going to need men anymore. You have become the men that you otherwise would find attractive. But they left out the most important thing, which is a woman's nature and her want for a man who's really not on her level if she could have it her way. As much as they say, on my level. 
That's not what you ideally want. That in their mind, they're settling for that, right? Um, let's talk to Miss Coffee here. It's been a while. I know some of you guys don't like my AI assistant, Barista Miss Coffee, and I don't care. She's very helpful and she gets a lot of things right. Miss Coffee, quick question. Are women reportedly more happy than they were in the past? Please let us know. We need to know the truth. Studies suggest that women's happiness levels have declined in recent decades, both absolutely and relative to men. This hmm. phenomenon, often referred to as the paradox of declining female happiness, indicates that despite improvements in women's lives in terms of education, employment, and personal freedoms, their subjective well-being has decreased. Research shows that women in the 1970s generally reported higher happiness levels compared to men, but this trend has reversed in recent years, Neuroscience News, NBER. Several factors contribute to this decline. Societal pressures and the increasing demands of balancing work, family, and personal aspirations might play a significant role. Women today often face more significant stress and expectations to excel in multiple areas of life, which can impact their overall happiness, psychology today. Strong and independent. Additionally, while women have gained more freedoms and opportunities, the societal narratives and pressures about achieving certain milestones and roles can also contribute to feelings of inadequacy or unhappiness, psychology today. Mm. However, it's essential to note that women's happiness is multifaceted and influenced by various strengths and resilience strategies. Women's abilities to connect with others, maintain strong values, and find solutions to problems are factors that, when leveraged, can promote happiness and resilience despite these broader trends, Yale Law School. Overall, while objective measures of women's lives have improved, subjective well-being has not followed the same upward trajectory, reflecting a complex interplay of societal, economic, and personal factors. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Drink the coffee. New York Science News, Psychology Today, Yale Law School studies, they're not as happy as they portray themselves to be. And could it be that women thrive better when they have a family that they are more nurturing for a reason? But I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just a crazy guy who's had too much coffee. Let's keep listening. I have great role models, but rather than working on that and focusing on that, they're like, oh, these girls just suck. And this was always confusing for me as a woman who grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood. So I was never like the top choice in those spaces. And so I very much so understood being a woman that wasn't quote unquote, you know, some like surrounded my men that always wanted to talk to her. And so I was just like toying and playing with guys. Like whenever I heard guys talk about that, I'm like, you're talking about like the hottest girls that are your type and your standard that you know you cannot attain. But then now you're bitter about. And so the I, I hope she I hope she means that she was wrong about that because we know modern women with delusional standards come in all shape, forms and sizes. They're broke. They are skinny. They are fat. They are beautiful. They are ugly. They are average. But you know what they all have in common? I don't drink coffee. Let's keep listening. The irony was that that rhetoric that they were saying about like women only going for the top ten percent, like that's what I feel like men do. Um, and so this breakdown from this girl today was so fantastic, but also worrying as a straight woman who eventually wants to have a partner that I feel like is my equal. Your equal not just, you know, in terms of the caliber of their lifestyle, but also mentally and emotionally um, and psychologically, it feels like we are in really tricky times. She, she'll be single for a long time, Gemini. I'm not even sure. I'm not just saying this, guys. I'm not just saying this. Men who uphold the value of marriage. This is a step further from just valuing marriage and understanding it. Men who uphold the value of marriage. This is different from just valuing marriage and understanding its benefits. No, men who are currently right now, I have a community of men, almost 300 men and counting, and we just opened, of men who uphold the values of marriage are currently seeking marriage, are married. They're not looking for women who, 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 who want to be equals. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. They're looking for feminine, nurturing women who embrace their strengths doesn't take away from your personal value to society to god they're not looking for an equal a, a, a person who they're going to have to fight with they know that in order for things to properly function within a household there needs to be order there needs to be a dynamic there needs to be a leader 
finish to be a, a, a help. Maybe she can be the leader. But no, she wants somebody who's her equal. Because if you come in as a masculine man who takes charge of his household, she feels threatened. Why? Because she feels like she's letting go of power, which is her independence. And that's the problem with a lot of modern women today. In fact, it's not just women, it's men too. We are in a very, very independent society. And these chicks who actually end up getting married, if they're going to be honest with you, and they're successfully married to strong men, not, not to men who they're telling what to do, no, to strong men, a lot of these chicks today had to learn, or currently still learning, they definitely had to begin the process of letting go of some of that independence and embracing interdependence. Let's keep listening. Um, because we're coming to a reckoning about how boys are raised um, and how much the gap between how boys and girls are raised has you know, increased over time. I come from a culture where it's so much more explicit. In Nigeria, women are explicitly taught to be good wives and mothers, and you see the dichotomy with how the boys are raised there to just do and be whatever and they're just allowed to just do crazy stuff basically and it enables and empowers these men to just have egos the size of mountains and sometimes be horrible to their wives i will as somebody who was born in southern africa zambia i will agree with her on the dynamics within i'd say like an african household where the progress needs to happen and it is actually happening is approaching the relationship from the perspective where a man is competent and not just respected for what's between his legs and to the men who say it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if he's a bum it doesn't matter if if he doesn't do anything whatsoever if he's a pookie whatever it is uh if african version of that or um, Indian version of that. Doesn't matter. As long as he has male parts, he should be respected. Not true. Stop. Just, just stop, man. I just don't. I, I, I never get. I, if, if you can't think properly, you need more coffee, right? I agree with that opinion, which is why a lot of African women who migrate to a Western country they become some of the most staunch feminists. Watch out for these African chicks when they mean to be great wives. They'll be amazing. But if they come here and embrace this. Feminism, feminism, they will be some of the most masculine, independent, difficult women you will deal with. And I assume this is the same from chicks who come from other countries where a man is just respected for just being a man and there's, there's not an, a, 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 a reasonable amount of degree of competence attached to that man's manhood. It's probably the same thing. But you want to watch out. And why I say watch out is they'll cook right they'll clean but my goodness they will be difficult if you find a good one you find an amazing one whether she's from thailand africa wherever let's keep listening i feel like in that context it's much more explicit but i see this in the u.s as well in just a little bit more of a subtle way but what i see is women being empowered to just be like well you know what like I'm not going to just pick whatever, like society is not forcing me to. So I would rather be single. And you're seeing a lot of single and genuinely happy women because we don't have to marry some weirdo just to have a good life and to have a good quality of life anymore. And that is what ma is making men upset. But men, instead of being upset, like there are pathways to do this. Like as women, we had to develop emotional intelligence. We had to develop empathy and compassion for each other. We had to, like, we didn't, you know, and this notion of women being just naturally good at the stuff as a woman that had to, you know, learn to be around other women. These are all learned things that you teach yourself. And I don't know, I just feel like in general women, we just have a lot more pressure to be a certain way and just men never really had to. And that is starting to show now that women have the autonomy that we've the women before us have fought so hard to give us. We are choosing to not settle and i'm sad i'm not gonna settle either but i just want where You'll are the be, quality men where are where you the, guys where are the quality men where are you guys where are you where are the quality men my gosh bro i've got so much to say about this topic it's not it's, i want to talk about what she said there about men being angry the only men that are truly frustrated are the men that are actually looking for feminine cooperative 
pleasant, kind women who don't have any, the men who actually value families and are looking for that, they're frustrated. They're frustrated because they realize how rare it is to find a chick who drinks coffee. But you know who's angry? Is the guy who never got a chance to understand a lot of these concepts about modern women and who they really are and how they view relationships, right? The Tia Maoris. Graduated from my marriage. What a success. Those guys are angry because they got into these relationships and marriages and thought that when you said those vows to death do us part, nothing through sickness and health, you decided to break up that family. You decided to show that man like, whoa, wow, these chicks are 304s. I got cheated on here, here, over and over again. Those guys are definitely like, if I would have known, my goodness, I've been either better off single or they would have approached things differently. They look back and say, man, I, sh I should have dealt with that differently. I believe the lie that she's a partner, that no matter my financial situation, she's going to love me. I believe the lie that my value comes from being emotionally intelligent. Is emotional intelligence good? Since you mentioned um, a bit of that towards the end, it is good. I think a lot of men can really benefit from learning how to express themselves and be more vulnerable. Yes, I said it. But here's my problem when it comes to therapy a lot of times and why so many men are so against it is modern day therapists, they don't just want to teach you how to first create an environment within a relationship where a man can be vulnerable without feeling like he's being judged or feeling like he's um, gonna say that stuff and it's gonna be used against him or he's being a female. No, no, no. A lot of these therapists want to turn you into women and that's where Every man should draw the line. You're not a woman. You don't have to cry about everything as much times as your woman does. You don't have to always talk about your feelings and it be a constant theme and women pretending like, oh, we have it figured out. This is how we want men to be. We are not settling for a man who's not as in emotionally in tune and who doesn't talk about his feelings as much as I do then good. You don't want a man. You want a woman. There are plenty of those around. Join the sisterhood. Buy a dog, right? Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. As always, we're going to check out some of these comments. Let's see what the people have to say. First comment here says, got my master's degree, making a good living for myself and still have yet to have the opportunity to share my life with someone. It's so draining, bro. Like draining. Is it draining? This is what you wanted. You wanted to go get your master's degree and not focus on prioritizing finding a man. When you do find a man, you don't know where to start. You don't know how to work with that man so that you can get along. You don't have enough experience, guidance, or coffee in your system. Somebody else here says, life does not revolve around relationships. Nothing wrong with being alone. Sure. Sure, if that's what you want. Somebody else here says, yep, college made me realize a lot. College brainwashed you, most likely. And put too many woke agendas into your mind. This chick says, I just want to love, be loved, grow, and build with someone. I went on this chick's page. She's struggling. She says, I just want to love, be loved, grow, and build with someone. Went on her page, and I was going to show her page and show her. I just decided, I'm going to let her live. No reason to do that. Bonnets everywhere. Lizzo sizes. I just want to love, be loved, but you don't want to lose weight and find a partner. You don't want to not wear bonnets out in public. These are the, these are the things that men are saying they don't want. These chicks aren't listening. Somebody else here says, I think it's a lot of things. First, these podcast bros are giving advice to men who are usually lonely. And when these men are lonely, they try to grab onto something and generally it's bad. I don't think so. Somebody else who says they can either wake up or get right or get left behind. I decided not to go on her page either. The profile pic was all I needed to see. Somebody else who says I'm 23 and I'm struggling finding someone. Stop listening to chicks like this. You're in this comment section. Somebody else who says definitely not raising my boys that way. I have to be intentional about what they're absorbing on social media. So this is a single mother who doesn't want to raise her boys to listen to men who are telling her to embrace 
their masculinity right here before your eyes creating the same type of men which they complain about somebody else here says eight left no crumbs all your points with the fire emoji here's somebody else who says i think at the heart of these new gender wars is loneliness because why is there an issue i agree with that statement i think people are lonely but 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 i think a step further people care about relationships relationships are important if they weren't important people wouldn't be talking about them they're important to me that's why i'm married they're important to you even though you don't think you care you're participating you're listening when you really don't care about something you don't pay it any mind. i mean truly don't care think of a woman who you just don't find attractive you, you don't even think about her right an ex who you've gotten over with doesn't even cross your mind you don't care they could do whatever they want you're like uh. but if these topics trigger something it's because i believe human beings care about these topics and want to find a solution all right guys of course i'm curious to know what do you think of everything that was spoken about here on today's episode leave your comments thoughts down below i appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot till next time i'm out peace Thank you.